What's up guys, it's Cam coming at you from the 2-6. Welcome back to Carolina Fragrance Reviews. Today is a very, very special episode as my guest Desiree is back. I know a lot of you guys were really bummed as I was, but we have her back and we are going to do something that we did one time before. It's men's winter date night fragrances with a twist. These are some of my most complimented winter fragrances and a fragrance that she picked and fragrances that other female guests have picked as well. So without no further ado, let's get into this. I finally found what I'm missing and now you got all my attention. Driving me wild, got me wishing that you were all mine, you're irresistible. Before we get things cranking, I'd like to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, My Fragrance Samples. Go to www.myfragrancesamples.com. Use CFR15 as a discount code to get 15% off. Hundreds of brands, thousands of different fragrances, excellent customer service. Go to www.myfragrancesamples.com. Okay, so there are some fragrances that she has not smelled. So like last time we did things much different, we actually went through smelling lots of different things that she likes. So I know there's some in here that she likes and some I'm not so sure if she likes. So we'll just go about the same way we did last time is one being the absolute worst and 10 being the absolute best. Number 10. All right, the first fragrance is one from Paco Rabanne. This is 1 million lucky. It is seven, maybe an eight. I like that one. You do like mm -hmm. it. Okay, so we'll go with 7.5 for now. Yeah. All right, so 7.5 for one million lucky. We'll see how lucky it is in the end. Number nine. Next fragrance is from Mason Margiela. This one is Jazz Club. Mm, not my favorite. Really? I'd say maybe a five. A five, yes. okay. So interesting enough, I did a lineup with Andrew from Curly Sense and this was actually one of her favorites. So <laughs> that I wanted to hold that information to myself because I don't want to spoil the uh, water. But also that just lets you know that the fragrance is very, very subjective as we all know. Number eight. Again, I'll hold my thoughts to myself on the next fragrance. This one is from Nazamato Berionda. Hmm. That one's an eight. An eight? Mm -hmm. So you like that one? I do. I like yes! that one. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is a uh, one of my one of my like most complimented fragrances. Okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, especially for this time of year. And to think of like a, a woody, boozy fragrance, mm -hmm. a lot of people wouldn't say, ah, oh, you know, if you smell kind of like whiskey, you're not gonna get complimented, but she got an eight yeah. on that one, so yeah. <laughs> you will. <laughs> yep. Number seven. So the next fragrance is uh, no stranger to you or <laughs> to our viewers, it is Parfum de Marley Layton. Now it has been about a year and a half or more since you yeah, smelled this I mean. and hey, we'll see we'll, you know, how that still holds water or not hold water with you. Seven. So you're not feeling the love that no. you did for it back in the mm -hmm. day, huh? No. <laughs> and this is the exact same bottle that <laughs> that actually just like slaughtered everything else. <laughs> but, um, you know, in a year and a half, a lot has happened. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Number six. All right, the next fragrance is, uh, you actually smelled um, the, I guess the older brother to this one a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. This one is Stronger With You Intensely. She actually did the Stronger With You like on our first lineup that we ever did together. I like this one. Mm -hmm. I'd say a seven. A seven? Yeah. Okay. Not a bad rating. It seemed like the OG probably had a scoring similar to that. Mm -hmm. So that'd be a good place to throw up what the actual score was for that. Note to editor. <laughs> <laughs> I would give this an eight. 
and eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Leighton is still holding the belt. Mm -hmm. Wow. Number five. Okay, so the next fragrance is uh, from Killian or by Killian. This one is called the Black Phantom. Mm -hmm. No? No. <laughs> uh, maybe five again? Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care for that one. That's okay. I mean, like, <laughs> this fragrance is either like love or hate. Oh, and. Um, I was talking to you about the video that we did with Andrea and Chris and Ashton and all of us. Yeah. This is one that made Andrea just go like, I mean like yeah. her her eyes literally just like <laughs> caught on fire. <laughs> 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 so yeah, very subjective again. Number four. So the next fragrance is from Guerlain. This one is Adiel EDP. A six. A six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like this fragrance isn't just like, like just by pam 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 in your mm -hmm. face, but it is like one of those fragrances that has actually got me a lot of unsolicited compliments, mm -hmm. unexpected compliments. Me and uh, Zach have actually worn this to the mall together a few times, really? and we just like. <laughs> 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 Number three. So obviously, me being the Killian fanboy I am, I'm gonna have more than one Killian in here. But I did that because this is a new release. This one is Angel Share. Mm, I like that one. So you feeling that one? I would still say maybe seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half? Eight, yeah. Okay, all right, so we're back around where we were with mm -hmm. the high score so we might have to do a tie record but you like that one so I, I was holding my thoughts to myself but um i've been getting a lot of attention with this fragrance and a lot of people have been going crazy i actually saw like a uh, picture on facebook where they showed the trucks pulling in at sacks and they're like we hope it's all full of angel share because <laughs> they can't keep it in stock it's just like selling like crazy number two all right, so the next fragrance is from Teddy Mugler. This one is from the Amen line. It is Pure Havan. Mm, that one's different. Yeah, it is. I like that one. Yeah? I would say between eight and nine. Ooh, so. Yeah, I like that Yeah, I, I, I'm glad that I threw that. I almost did not put that in the list mm -hmm. and I slid another one away instead. So I'm, I'm glad yeah, I, I like put that, that in there because it does seem to get those type mm -hmm. of reactions. And this one is not crazy expensive, but I have been hearing that they're discontinuing it. So oh, I don't know if that's true. They do that with the Amen line. Mm -hmm. They'll pull it back and put something out and you know, uh, shelf something and then bring it back out. And But yeah, they should keep that, shouldn't they? Yes, so they should. If you're listening, don't do away Please. with Pure Havon. You're gonna, yes. gonna break a lot of hearts. <laughs> Number one. So the next fragrance I wanted to throw in, a nice cheapie for you guys on a budget. This one is Jaguar Classic Black. This one's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> we still get, this what? would be oh, close yeah. to a 10. It really? Yes, I like this one the best so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that digging that favorite. one, huh? That's your yeah. favorite? So that's <laughs> yeah. a 10. Mm -hmm. Just, just bro. Okay, so to make things more interesting, to really roll back to the original roots of how this video started with us <laughs> way back in the day of like, it's our first video together, like mm -hmm. my second video that I ever did, and she helped me out. So thank you You're for welcome. actually putting this channel on the map back in the day, because you got like a lot of attention. So thank you, thank I'm you, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> me too. So to make things interesting, I did want to break out uh, this one right here, Creed Aventus. So um, we'll see, just for you know, for giggles see how you feel about that one being that you weren't like overly crazy about Layton. Are you still feeling that one like you were a year and a half ago? Yes. Yeah. But 
I still have the other one stuck in my head. Really? Yeah. So, so what would you rate that one as? just for a score because it's eight. technically you've already had your 10 but i just want to throw it in for fun i would give this one an eight an eight so yeah, the there's really no my, contest no just that one is my favorite okay so this sells for like 21 dollars <laughs> <laughs> so those of you out there ladies if you're wanting to get your man something that's obviously scrumptious um and what's ironic is i actually had this pulled out for a different video, I was just gonna do like cheapies that pull compliments. I was like, well, why don't I just throw it in this lineup? So, smart idea, huh? Yes, okay. so, go for it. Yeah, 21 bucks and some change, you can get this one on Amazon, Fragrance Buy, Fragrance Net, all those places, you know, Jaguar cars are very expensive, but their fragrances are not. So I guess there is no reason to even do any type of, uh, I mean, is there anything you want to go back over? Is there any reason to go back or is this just that perfect 10? It's perfect 10. Really? Okay. No so, so the winner, winner chicken dinner is classic black from Jaguar. So thank you so much for joining me for this video today. And, um, for those of you who are happy to see Des back on the set again, let us know down in the comments if you agree, disagree, or just happy to see her regardless. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you on Carolina Fragrance Reviews. With this one? The blue one that we just did. The, that's the part from Demarley Layton. That was okay. the one that just shellacked everybody. See, I don't really care for it that much. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, and it's funny because there's fragrances I used to go ham about that mm -hmm. I'm like, eh, yeah. Eh. And then there's this ones I used to be that way. I'm like, oh, I love it now. You know? <laughs>